start off the first round with Rigadel and Lomachenko in a battle with lead hand dominance. Lomachenko changing angles and ranges to see which works best for him. He comes in with a jab. Now remember, he has longer reach and he's a bigger man, so he can keep Regendahl at distance if he wants. Regendahl goes for that defensive crouch and move away that he usually goes for. And Lomachenko counters it by taking a foot to the outside and hitting him with an uppercut like hook. That's one of Regendahl's major maneuvers right there, one of his go-to movements. And he just got stripped of it right there in the middle of the ring. So in return, when Lomachenko comes in, his only other option is to get close enough to hold. Round number two starts and Lomachenko comes out jabbing with footwork and Rigondeaux goes into the defensive crouch. Lomachenko smothers him and hits him with an uppercut when he comes up for air. So the adjustment that Lomachenko made was to simply control the space in between him, come in behind a punch, get up close and smother his attacks and then hit Rigondeaux once he tries to come up. See how Regendahl just got away, Lomachenko comes in with his attack, he steps off, he ponders what just happens, and then comes in with simply a variant of what just took place, but a, a variation of the first attack, and it works. Regendahl is stopped in his tracks and head bounces back like a beach ball. Would hit him right after he let go, it seemed kind of foul, but the referee didn't officially call the stop, so it's okay. So he goes back to holding and more holding. So we come out in the third round and it seems the adjustment is keep him moving to his right, uh, overwhelm him with activity and punches. Look at that. He's even throwing a double hook off of that coming. He's walking to his right, constantly turning Regendahl. And Regendahl has no answer. I don't think he's used to fighting at this pace. But Lomo is. Regendahl goes for his crotch pivot and move, but he's followed around the ring with punches. At this point, he starts crouching over. He gets caught by a bombardment of uppercuts. He goes to hold. Uppercuts and speed of foot he's used to burst of energy but Lomachenko is constantly moving so he's out maneuvering we're going to the fourth round all right now we're going into the fourth Lomachenko is trying to control the difference with hand feints uh Rigadot runs in but doesn't have the length he hits Lomachenko low with a body shot now Lomachenko comes in and peppers his head with work rate look at him it's hard to keep up with his work rate. He's not used to it. His feet are spread apart and he has a wide base. Lomachenko frames off him and spins. Now let's look at this. This is in slow motion. Look at the jabs into rabbit punches. Look like a three piece rabbit punch. A referee is forced to say something this time. So Lomachenko is walking him down at this point and Regan Dow. Oh, no, Regan Dow just hit the move. That's amazing. But it serves no purpose at this point because it was just strictly defensive trying to survive. He looks discouraged and that, that move had no offensive value at all. So Lomachenko continues to walk him down in the fifth round. And you know what? It's going to continue to be this way in the sixth round. So at this point, we're going to look at the highlights of the fight and consider this a wrap up for the film breakdown because uh, Regan Dow is just trying to survive at this point and he's not doing anything effective anymore. Punch with the most oh. intent that we've seen tonight. Hey ref, remember you gave that warning about uh, rabbit punches? Jump in any second to stop these if you would, or at least do something. Damn ref, what happened? I mean, he was hitting long enough, but you failed to make a move. What are you on the take for top rank? If I had to take a lucky guess, I would say at this point the fight was broken. Look at the referee. 
He barely had to touch them to break them up, not physically. He just put his hands on their back and separated them. And he turns around and takes a point away from Rigadel, who's already losing the fight, who's already discouraged. At this point, he's like, what's the point? The referee is on the take, obviously. And there's no need for the referee to the take, because he was getting destroyed anyway. Apparently, blatant rabbit punches are okay, illegal punches. But me holding until you come and break it up to make sure that I don't get hit on the break is not. And you deduct a point from a fighter that's already losing without even a strict warning. Uh, so I believe that was actually the end of the fight at that point. He, he just, no point to come out and fight. And so if you like the, if you like the video, hit the like button and please subscribe. We're trying to get to a thousand by the end of the year and every bit helps. YouTubers, if you like my content, hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe. That way I keep on bringing you more content. Have a nice night.